Our next topic is about Inception, guys. One of my favorite movies of all time. Absolutely love this movie. It was incredible. It was it was gritty. It was suspenseful. It was very psychological. Many different kind of endless boundaries, I guess you could say, as far as this this movie entailed and what the potential could be. So now today I want to talk about where is Inception 2? Because of course with the recent announcement of Tenet, which is of course Christopher Nolan's next movie, there's been talk of it being a sequel to Inception or a possible you know sequel to Interstellar, which is another one of Christopher Nolan's movies. I want to talk about where is Inception 2 and could it ever see the light of day at some point or another in the future? So let's talk about it. In an article that was uh, written by Looper, uh, why we never got to see an Inception sequel. So there's a number of reasons here why they why they kind of think that we never got a sequel, at least as of yet. And I'll give you guys some of my feedback as well. And I would love to hear your feedback as well. So let me know in the comment section below. Given its conceptual boundlessness, boundlessness many audiences hoped Christopher Nolan's Oscar-winning Inception would would spawn a full-on franchise. After all, didn't Tom Hardy's character tell us all not to be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling? The curveball, or should we say spinning top, ending left a lot of viewers hoping for some real resolution by way of a follow-up film. But it just hasn't happened yet. Here's why we haven't seen an Inception sequel. Inception was released right before The Dark Knight Rises closed out Nolan's three-part trek through Gotham City. Although he wasn't traditionally a sequel man before, his Dark Knight trilogy seemed to change his tune. In fact, he told Deadline in 2011 that while he did conceive of Inception as a one-shot cinematic experience, he wouldn't close the door on a possible return simply because of the outcome of his Batman experience. I've always liked the potential of the world. It's an infinite or... Perhaps I should say infin uh, infinitesimal world that fascinates me, said Nolan. I think of Inception as one film, but that's how I approach all of my films. When I was making Batman Begins, I certainly didn't have any thoughts of doing a second Batman film, let alone a third. You never quite know where your creative interests are going to take you, but when I was making Inception, I viewed it as a standalone movie. So right there, he kind of viewed it as a standalone, but at the same time, he was open to the potential of a sequel. So we got to keep that in mind as well. To further explore the dream within a dream world he created, Nolan originally eyed a video game follow-up. He told Entertainment Weekly, I always imagined Inception to be a world where a lot of other stories could take place. At the moment, the only direction we're channeling that is by developing a video game set in the world, adding that it was a longer-term proposition. He further elaborated during a 2010 press conference that the reason a video game might be his preferred medium for a new Inception story is that the platform would offer an even more expansive place for storytelling. Indeed, the multitude of layers that the dream world offered were teasingly underexplored, and many of the sequels Sequences had a gamer-esque quality like the almost mi Minecraft-ish nature of the world's building in the lowest level limbo and the ultraviolet golden eye style attack on the snow fortress. So maybe there was something to the idea. As of 2016 though, there's been no news of progress on an Inception game. So an Inception video game would be very interesting, and that's something that I would absolutely love to see. I think that, yeah, there's so many different ideas there. Now, usually when video games um, are made from movies, a lot of times they're okay, but they're not great. Usually when it's a movie that is being made or adapted from a video game, it's usually not very good at all. But in this case, I think that there would be some opportunity there to make a pretty cool story uh, in Inception, but I'd rather see a movie rather than a game, and that's just me personally. For many, the final scene of Inception was completely confusing and open-ended. In the last few moments, Leonardo DiCaprio's cop completed his mission to put the idea of dissolving an international energy company before it achieved a global monopoly into its heir's head. Then he went into the depths of cerebral chaos to retrieve his benefactor before he could forget his promise to restore Cobb's 
parental rights to his two children. Cobb returned to his home and spun his totem, a metal top, then walked off to play with his kids outside. Since the top was still spinning as the shot faded to black, many viewers took that as a signal that perhaps Cobb hadn't finished the job just yet, and there was more to do before he could really reunite with his children in the waking world. Nolan, however, meant to signify something more concrete with his ending. He told Princeton University graduates in 2015, the way the end of, the, of that film worked, Leonardo DiCaprio's character Cobb, he was off with his kids, he was in his own subjective reality. He didn't really care anymore, and that makes a statement. Perhaps all levels of reality are valid. The camera moves over the spinning top just before it appears to be wobbling. It was cut to black. The idea then is that whether Cobb escaped from his own head or not, his story was done. He was no longer looking for an exit from whatever existence he was in. So there's that. And that's obviously something that um, we are obviously going to be talking about for years to come. And that's pretty much all of Nolan's movies. We, we could always talk about all of those movies, right? We could talk about his Batman movies, you know, uh, Inception, Interstellar, so many different movies that we could talk about the ending and how it could like continue. And I think that the way it ended was so perfect in my opinion. And to me, it almost begs to wonder, do we really need a sequel uh, to Inception? Nolan's been tied up with other projects. This is very true. Of course, he did uh, he did Dunkirk, and now he's doing Tenet. He's working on other stuff. The cast has been pretty swamped as well, whether you're talking DiCaprio or some of the other, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Tom Hardy. They're all working on different uh, projects and such. So it's almost like, do we really need, you know, to... Uh, you would want all those characters to come back, or at least the ones that stayed, that, that survived and such, obviously. And then it'd probably be really expensive to make as well. Well, that's pretty obvious, but at the same time, here's the thing. Tenet apparently is like a $250 million project or some, somewhere along those lines. It's a very expensive movie uh, for, uh, you know, to, to make. And apparently it is absolutely incredible um, as far as like visually from what people are saying of this movie. And so... An Inception movie would be really expensive, but it's Christopher Nolan and DiCaprio. I mean, come on, you're going to sell a ton of tickets. Um, I'm pretty sure you're going to make a billion dollars or so on an Inception 2. But uh, that's just my opinion on it. Um, I would love to hear from, from all of you guys regarding Inception, the possibility of an Inception 2. Would you guys want to see a continuation of it? Or are you happy with the way it ended? Because one thing that, that we all love about these, you know, these movies and the movies that Nolan does is that we talk about it. We're still talking about it. We kind of are talking about sequels, but it's almost that we don't need to have a sequel because we could just talk about these movies for years upon years upon years. And that's something, definitely something there that we should absolutely, you know, talk about. And I would love to have a real conversation with all of you guys out there regarding Inception, the possibility of a sequel. Do you want to see a sequel or would you rather just, of course, talk about Inception, the first movie and the only one at this point for the foreseeable future? Let me know what you guys think.